So this week I've still been working pretty much all on this bread and butter painting and I'm getting pretty close to finishing it, which is exciting. Um, I like the end process of paintings a lot because it's a lot of subtle adjustments that make a big impact. Um, I've been playing around this week a lot with the light and getting certain glowing effects. I think that's something I'm really good at and it's fun to push that towards the end of the painting where I will either be laying paint on pretty thickly or also really thinly and it's like a scumble or a glaze. Um, so it's just really fun to play around with the different textures of painting as well. So the garlics, I ended up repainting them this week. Um, not entirely, mostly just the light portion, so the light shape of them. Um, and I was really liking that. And then also just today, right before um, I got the camera out to shoot this, I was laying on like th thick highlights, which it feels really good to do that, to have that confidence where you take a brush, you get a lot of paint on it. And because I've molded the garlic slowly over time and just like keep getting them stronger and stronger and stronger. And then I'm used to the, the color mixtures that I'm using for it, that I have this confidence where I can just lay a brush stroke down and I'll leave it, um, which is not just, you know, for me to feel good, but it, it's, I think, really rewarding just to look at something like that where you can see um, a modeled garlic and then have this like nice, thick brush stroke on it which is fun, um, kind of like made adjust, really I just made adjustments over the whole painting, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty close to being finished with it, I think. Um, I think I want to wait for the paint to dry and do some, a little bit of glazing in some areas to unify and bring up some areas and get some areas to be more colorful while still staying very light as well. Um, so it's been, yeah, it's been a lot of fun working on this, this painting. Uh, it's been a really interesting process because it's a commissioned painting. So, um, you know, making sure it's something that they like and that they're going to love and I'm going to really love working on it and like the finished product as well. So it was, it's been a really good experience from the start. Um, and so now every morning I, I wake up and I take the, I feel like it helps me to take the painting out of the studio. So the painting's in a new room, it's in a new different light source. I'll either have, I'll either have lights on so it'll be under, um, artificial light. And then also, you know, keep, have the lights off so then it's, uh, with natural light just coming, coming from the window and then both. So, um, it's just getting all different light sources. So wherever they hang the painting, um, I know it's going to look good in the whatever light situation that it's going to be under. And yeah, keep, keep making sure that it's out of the studio in a different room too. I'm seeing it now as a painting and not something that's just a work in progress. But if I, if I was to say like, I'm finished with this painting now and it's finished. And so I look at the painting and if there's anything like, oh, I wish I could have tweaked that, I write that down that down in a notebook and so that's kind of like my checklist for that day that I want to work on so I've been doing that while I drink my coffee in the morning um, and also I've got a frame that it's not the frame that's going to be for the painting but I put it I put the painting in a frame so it's also just getting that look at it as if it was a finished piece and if there's any final adjustments that I want to make for it um, yeah so that's been that's been helpful and again to like making it out of the studio so it's not beside the setup so it's not just um i guess when i start a painting and i have a setup that i'm referencing like a still life that i'm referencing um the first week or the first few days i'm just like really working on like getting the either the drawing and making sure the drawing is is as accurate as the my setup and then like the next few weeks or few days, I am making sure that the impression's the same, so it's the same impression of color and light and value that I see. Um, but then I want to make sure that I'm not just like becoming a, a slave to what I'm looking at as far as the setup, but the painting is, I mean, they're not going to have the painting displayed beside 
the setup so it doesn't matter like if it looks exactly like it maybe if I push the garlics to be brighter or push the the piece of bread that's on the top that to be brighter which it is brighter in my painting than it is in the setup I think that looks better um, so I'll make those adjustments and um, so that's helpful to take the painting out from the beside the setup and out of the studio so if I'm saying like well that's what the setup looks like so I'm gonna paint it to look like that but when you take it out in a way maybe it doesn't make as much sense as you thought it did so you want to you know push and press push past just the impression that you're seeing to um, yeah just to make sure that you're making a painting that you really love and stands up nice and strong on its own so um, yeah I'm really yeah, I'm really excited about this painting. It's um, it's cool when I work on a painting and I have a setup so I know what it's going to look like or going to look similar to what I always have in my head, something slightly different. So it's cool then to see something that you made up that um, is realized then in a physical form. So it's, it's uh, yeah, a really exciting time for the painting right now. So I'm hoping that I will be finishing up soon. I actually purchased a couple frames so um different ones like a black one gold one silver one brown so i can just put it in different frames to see what it looks best in and then the plan is um once i find the frame that it's going to be in to um then keep painting on the painting and make final adjustments with it in the the specific frame so then it's just like perfect and looks really good <laughs> um yeah but so since I'm finishing this up, this commission painting. If ever, anyone wants to commission me to do a painting like a still life or a landscape painting or anything, um, feel free to email me. My email is Jennifer Marie Keller at Gmail. Um, and we can talk about something to get, do like a collaboration where it's you give me image ideas and then I come up with an image and then we can, um, I can make a really beautiful painting for you. And then also, I can't remember if I said this in my last video or not, but um, I have taken a little bit of a break from plein air painting because um, Eric, my husband, we share the car and he's been uh, driving, he's driving to another place to work these last few weeks and so it's like a really long drive and so when I go plein air painting, I have to, um, it's just too much driving to like take him to work and then me usually driving another hour to a, to a, location spot that I want to paint um, but he's going to be going back to his normal place of work at the end of this coming week so I'm hoping that I can get a lot of um, plein air paintings done so um, also if anyone wants a plein air painting um, what I've been doing is I've been asking people um, if they want me to paint a certain scene like a landscape or seascape so then it's so that's kind of like a commission thing too and then I'll paint them like a specific location or something like that but I'm really really excited to get to go out and do that um, those paintings are faster um, I get them done typically in a day so it feels really good to just like let everything out and have it just be done on a piece of panel or canvas or whatever and it's like really brush stroking and it kind of has a different feeling than my studio paintings which takes weeks and sometimes months to finish so there's um a different energy like a like a uh like a immediacy immediacy and um i don't know just there's like a funness quality in the paint because it's like very loose and brushy i'm really excited to get to go out in different spots around California and start painting outside again because it's a lot of fun.